we're going to cut up this Carter 10,000 pound electric brake axle. Just to be fair, because about a year and a half ago, we cut a Dexter 12,000 pound axle to show you all how thick the tube really was. So to be fair, we're going to cut apart this 10K Carter axle just to compare. And we got a boy right here about to chop it up. Go for it. What do y'all think that thickness is before we measure it? It uh, looks like a 3.8. It looks pretty decent, if I must say. I think that's a 3.8, but maybe more than 3.8. Okay. Yeah, 3.8. octavos de espesor. And now he's bringing in the old Dexter axle, the old 12,000 pound Dexter axle that we cut up last year for a video to show everybody. And we're just gonna compare them to see. So really the 12,000 pound axle should have a much thicker tube than the 10,000 pound axle. So we're just gonna compare the Dexter 12K axle right here versus the Carter 10,000 pound axle. Well, let's measure it out. So here's the Dexter. This is a Dexter 12,000 pound axle, 0 0.31 inches thick. 32, 31. 0.31 inches thick is the Dexter 12,000 pound axle tube. And now the quarter axle again for reference. inches thick on a Carter 10,000 pound axle. So that shows you right there folks that the Carter axles are built way heavier than the Dexter 12,000 pound axles. Carter 10,000 pound axle, Dexter 12,000 pound axle. Now isn't that crazy? Pretty crazy.